As coronavirus still runs rampant, many people are in financial ruin, turning to outside sources for income. What's trapping like in a Uh, easy, honestly, if you do it right. Very easy. Was it service industry clientele? And, uh, yeah, I just like, I've lived here for a while, so I just like know a lot of people that do drugs. It's just very easy, like, friends, casual acquaintances, and you can make a decent living, like, not even really going outside your network of people that you know you talk to. What got you in the game? Necessity. I was just tired of being broke, and like, I don't know, I just started selling weed when I was like 16, because like, I was tired of buying it, and like, I don't know, that's, that was my solution to not buy it. And then I started making a little bit of money, and I was like, alright, that's cool. And then I didn't really, like, start doing anything, I guess, more significant until, like, I was older in my, like, mid, mid-20s. Like, to where you could, like, pay bills and shit, and, like, not work, and, like, you know, like, do that as a job, versus, like, working somewhere, and then... So, some of the positives would be money, obviously, which is really the number one thing. Negatives? What is it? Clientele? Paranoia? Mm. Yeah, definitely, but like, I don't know, I've kind of learned to not really focus on the negatives. Like, I guess for some people you could feel like you don't have your own time, like people will just hit you up, but like, really I just treat it like a small business and I just set my own hours and it's like, if I answer my phone, I'm working, if not, it's a shit, I don't, I'm not going to think twice about it, or you or like anyone trying to contact me. When you're out trying to drum up business do you do you kind of like chill in a spot and people hear about you and just come up start talking or do you do you initiate with people or do they come up to you Both. it's usually like i'll know someone there and then like hook them up and then they'll go out and like be hanging out with people and someone will ask and they'll be like well, hey yeah stuff because i'll just like kick people back shit if they're like drumming business What's the best side of town? The south. South. Far, far in March. Fuck the east side. <laughs> no, I, I mean, no, I actually fuck the east side. <laughs> cool, fuck the east side. How many people do you serve a week? Fluctuates, but anywhere from, I say 10 to like 30. You know, but sometimes it's not consistent, definitely. Like, you know, it's just ebb and flow it's like most things in life yeah when it's nice it's nice do you see yourself doing this long term <clears throat> mm, probably a little bit longer than I think but no like maybe a like medium term until we get that second stimmy <laughs> and then I'm gonna go <laughs> you just buy more <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, no probably like Definitely not after 30, and I don't plan on, like, turning into anything that I'm not, so...